Hi guys, welcome to La Tentation Quick and Easy. I'm Chef Mick Elisée. Today I'm going to show you a simple party food. So we will do a bruschetta, chicken lollipop and a variant of beetroot. So I got all my ingredients here. I need my bread, I need breadcrumb, parmesan, peppers, I got avocado, tomato, red onion, cucumber, chevrol, chicken, shallot, all the stuff is here. Let's start the party then. So first thing, I will start to cut my ciabatta bread. This is Italian bread, one of the best for canapes. Let's cut slide now like this. All right, now my ciabatta is cut. I'll put it straight on my tray. And after that, in the oven for five to six minutes. Actually, until they get golden, brown and golden. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. Some olive oil. Okay. Just a little bit on the top. So now we're ready to go in the oven okay, for five to six minutes. And my oven is at 118 degrees. So now my ciabatta, my ciabatta bread is in the oven. I will start to do all the mix going on top of the ciabatta. So it's a tomato. Let me cut my tomato. Cut in half. I need diced of red onion. To cut your onion, first of all, you cut it on this line, then after horizontal one. So just small dust like this. If everybody can do it at home. I'll cut the tomato in the same way as well. First of all, vertically, then horizontal. Don't worry if you got your tomato juice everywhere. That means your nice tomato. All of this go on the bowl. The next thing, my avocado. Same way as well, I'll do small diced. When you buy your avocado, your avocado make sure your avocado is very firm. The best avocado to buy is from Africa or the Caribbean. They are most of the best one. Put in the bowl. A bit of salt. A bit of pepper. And I got my olive oil inside as well. A bit of sherry vinegar. One spoon of parmesan as well. Et voilà. So actually, in my bowl is a small salad. I got avocado, tomato, red onion, sherry vinegar, olive oil, eh, and I miss some yellow pepper. I put a bit in the salad and a bit I just leave outside when I put on the top of my bruschetta. Make sure it's well mixed, so all the ingredients come together and the flavor is more, more powerful. I'll put a bit of chervil in there. The chervil will give more, more balance on your flavor because when you do salad, it's good always to put fresh herbs. It gives this freshness, yeah? That's it. So now I think my chibata are ready. Actually, they, they stayed in my oven for six, seven minutes, a bit longer than six, just to make them a bit golden. As you can see. So as soon as you take off your ciabatta from the oven, you put a bit of parmesan on the top. Just a little bit. And because your ciabatta is still hot, the parmesan will melt a bit. That will help to don't absorb all the liquid from your salad. So it will be like a bit waterproof. So next thing is chicken lollipop. I've got a nice piece of chicken breast here. You can use chicken legs, but you trim it, you just keep the shell, or you can use a tie, any part of chicken, because you have to dice it very finely after that. So, chicken breast, a bit of salt, pepper, make sure you do very good seasoning, because the secret of good cooking is a seasoning and temperature. 
chop it finely. Much you've well on top as well. So I chop it very finely. I put the shallots inside as well, chop them together with a chicken and chervil, salt and pepper. Mix everything. That this good combination is for the test, yeah. That's it. So I got like minced chicken here. What I will do, just put a bit of olive oil on, on the chicken. Yeah. What I will do, take a little handful, roll it up like a small lolly, you know, like a lollipop. Like small like this. This kind of food you do when you have some friends at home. You can do it in advance before you receive the people at home, yeah? So you do your, your bruschetta or your lollipops in advance. Deep fry them, just keep somewhere. And when a friend comes, you just sell. Now I, got, I have my, my chicken bowl here. What I will do, I will panne them. So, panne à la française. That means I need some flour, I need my breadcrumb and yolk eggs. So because it's whole eggs, I'll just take the yolk. I don't need the white. Another one. Just easy, just you try to juggle with it like this. And you just keep the yellow. A bit of salt on the yolk egg. When you do your panure, the first thing is to start in the flour. I mix this through in the flour. Then next thing, in my eggs. And the third thing, in the breadcrumb. It's time to defy it now. So I got my oil here. Make sure your oil is not very hot, because if it's too hot, it's burned. So I will say maybe 165 degrees. How you will see it is when you put your your first chicken is not coming golden too quickly, or just coming bit by bit. That means you are on the right temperature. Yeah, and when, when you put them, you have to put one by one or two by two. If, if you put everything together, your temperature of, of your oil will just go down. As you can see, the color. This is ready. What I will do, I use a wooden stick, just put inside. Just like this, like a lollipop. Make the thing easier to people to pick up and eat it easily, like finger food, you know? Just come, grab it and in your mouth. So now the last thing for my platter will be my beetroot very. I have nice beetroot here. I chop it finely, like this. Very fine. After I use my cucumber, Chop it finely as well. So once you have everything on the pot, add some olive oil. And sherry vinegar. Alright, so the salad of my vegan is ready. So it is now is the time to plate it. So I'm using a short glasses to put my salad in there, beetroot salad, and the mix will go on the bruschetta. Then my lollipop, just put here. Voila! Here you have your party platter. Bruschetta, beetroot salad, and lollipop chicken. Excellent chicken. So for any information about me and about this recipe, please just check the link below and see you next time.